Today's Tanya, the 17th of Kislev, is in Kuntus Achrim, page 322. The number at the bottom of the page is 628. This is the eighth essay. In this Kuntus, the Alte Rebbe speaks about the importance of davening slowly and at length and rebukes those who, who, who rush the Shliach Tzibur, the Chazan, to daven fast. It is not good what I have heard and I have been grieved by it. That the people of God, the Jews, they remove from the Amud, from the from the from leading the davening. Those who want to daven in such a way that it will bring long life for all the anash of that of that shul in which they are davening slowly, because to daven slowly brings length of days, adds life. Kemay Marazal, as the Gemara says, Shleishad Varim Arichim Gam of Shal Adam. There are three things that make life longer, and that one of them, the Echad Mehem, is Hamayda Betvilosik. One of them is davening at length. And even one who is in, in great hurry, and he's very pressed for time. And it's impossible for him to wait in shul until after Kedusha, Shel Chazoros Hashat to answer Kedusha to this Chazan who is davening slowly. Then it would be far better for him that he shouldn't hear the Kedusha and he shouldn't hear the Baruch rather than rather than tamper with the life of those who want life who want to daven at length who want to daven slowly and for himself since it is impossible for him, he's forced to leave, then the, then, then the Torah exempts him or exonerates him from the, uh, from the mitzvah. In fact, Alpidin, the Shliach Tzibur, in his davening, is Yetzir, this person who can't be there by the davening. Even though he doesn't hear the repeat, repetition of the Amida, it's Ki'ilu Shama. It's as if he did hear and it's as if he answered. Look at the Isa Big Gemara Gabi Amsha Besodes. And as the Gemara says concerning the people who are out in the fields, the farmers, who can't come into Shul, the Anise, because they are forced, they, they, they have no choice. They are Yetzim Yudei Chevas Tfilas, Shmene Esra, Atzma Bechazoros Hashat. They are Yetzim, the mitzvah of Shmene Esra. With the with the shliach tibur's davening, ki ilu shamu mamish, as if they had heard the davening, the gam kedusha baruchu b'chol, and the kedusha and the baruchu are included in this in in this shliach uh, tibur's being yei to the people who can't come. Vehine zeis chkanuho. Now we've researched this, we've studied this, and kain hu avgam bedeis harishenim. And this was true also in the early generations, Shalchach Meha Mishnah Vahagimada, in the times of the Mishnah and the Gemara, Shahisa Tedosam Kva, the Ikir Avedosam, the Late Vilosam, at which time the learning was their main Aveda, not their davening, and yet even then, davening at length was a virtue. So certainly at this time, in the times before Mashiach, Shain Tedosainu Kva, that our learning is not permanent, because of the pressure and the difficulties of the time, so that our main primary Aveda is not the learning, so the main Aveda now is the Davening. As the Tal write the Eitz Chaim and the Pri Eitz Chaim, that in, in our times the main Aveda is the Davening. So now, Mikol Shkain Vakal how much more so is it Royev and Nochein? Is it appropriate and proper? Litein Afshainu Mamisholeho 
to really devote ourselves to it. And it is literally a commandment from Teda. For those who understand, the benefits of this contemplation of delving a little deeply a little more deeply each person according to his ability into the into the topic of the davening of the praise of God that are in the psuche de Zimra, and the topic of the shte, the substance of the two brachis that are before Krishna, Yetzir, and Ava. Through which we can arouse the love that exists within the heart of every Jew. But it is hidden in the heart of every Jew. So the, the contemplation during the Psukhi de Zimra and the Brachis before the Shema help bring this hidden love into a revealed state, into the revealed part of the heart, when we get to the Kishma itself. Because this is the mitzvah of the love of God that we, that we read about in the Pasuk, that you have to love God with all your heart, with both hearts. And this mitzvah of loving God, which is performed, by, a, by revealing the hidden love, the fact that every Jew has a love for God in the hidden part of the heart, that doesn't fulfill the mitzvah. The mitzvah is not to have something that you, can't, that you have anyway. The mitzvah is to bring something that you don't yet have. And that is a revelation of the love in the revealed part of the heart. So this mitzvah is nimnis yeshayna betayag mitzvahs. It is counted first among the 613 mitzvahs as the Rambam writes, that this love for God is the basis of Teira, and it is the source and the root of all 248 mitzvahs, because the love that every Jew has in his heart, by nature and by birth, concerning that love, there can't be any commandment. Because the love is there either way. And it is easy to understand that while the love is concealed, where is it concealed? In the godly soul. So that it exists in the godly soul at least in a state of concealment. But when it is revealed, <clears throat> it is revealed into the natural heart into the natural soul, into the animal soul, then it is revealed in the heart, in the left side of the heart. In the, in the place where the animal soul dwells. And this is the, the elevation or the purification of the nitsutseis, of the divine sparks, that are, is accomplished through davening which is mentioned in the Eitz Chaim and the Pi-Eitz Chaim. Shalochein hi ike ha-aveda bikus Mashiach ha-levayda netzutzeis, and that's why it is the main aveda in the time before Mashiach, to purify those sparks, shiru b'chinas is hapcha is kafya, that brings about either the subjugation, subduing the animal soul, or actually transforming the animal soul, l'nefesh ha-likis, turning it into a godly soul. K'nei da ki adam hu ha-nefesh, as is known that the blood is the soul, the animal soul is in the blood. And the blood is renewed every day through eating and drinking. It also is affected and it reacts to the clothing and to the uh, place where the person lives, his surroundings. So all these physical things, the food and the drink and the clothing and the house, all of it influences the animal soul. And when the animal soul is elevated, it elevates with it all these physical things. In the earlier generations where there were greater neshames, higher neshames, then all this elevation and purification happened instantaneously because 
It happened in the reading of the Shema itself, with a, with a brief introduction of the Brachis before the Shema and the Psuke de Zimra. But it happened rather quickly. Whereas today we need a little more time in the davening in order to bring about that same Birr. In the Hayyim Yem for the 17th of Kislev, the Rebbe writes that Chassidus Chabad opens the gates and the, and the chambers of Chachma and Bina, which makes it possible for one to know and to recognize in his mind, to actually comprehend the one who spoke and the whole world came into being. It awakens the feelings of the heart so that it is aroused with the emotion that is produced by that particular subject which he understands. So if he studies a subject that, that leads to, to love, then the, the heart responds with love. If he studies a subject that leads to fear, the heart responds with fear. And Chassidus Chabad shows the way that each individual, depending on his abilities, on his talents, can approach the holiness to serve God with his mind and heart. Shalom Aleichem. How are you? You know I do a lot of talking, a lot of Zooming, many classes, many subjects. But that's all formal stuff. Hopefully good stuff, but formal. We also have a Wednesday night meeting that's more informal and kind of um, Hamish. If you want to join us for that kind of an event, um, interactive, time for questions and so on, if you want to join us for this side of conversation, click on the link below and join us every Wednesday night at nine o'clock. Well, maybe not every Wednesday night, but we try to make it every Wednesday night at nine o'clock, a more informal chat, which uh, can be more enjoyable at times than the formal stuff. So check it out, click on the link and join us. Try it, you'll like it.